7.05. It is great to be here. Happy Hump Day Wednesday morning on KCMO Talk Radio. And we are eight days away from our politics and a pint with Bill Igel. He's running for governor, and we'll be out with him at Tiffin Jay's next Thursday in Lee's Summit. So if you have not RSVP, RSVP, join us next Thursday night, 6 p.m., at Tiffin Jay's out in Lee's Summit. Have a great time. Bill is a character. Um, he's got a lot of people bent out of shape, and it's going to be fun to have him out there. And you'll get to talk to him one-on-one. We'll do a little long-form Q&A. Grab some food, have a beer, life will be good. So yesterday at the end of the show, you remember this, Mark? I mentioned that there was a TV network in the U.K. that reached out to us about an interview. Oh, yeah. Well, let me give you the update on that, because I haven't given you the update either. No. You and John are not up to speed on this yet. Yesterday was a little crazy around here. <laughs> so, uh, producer reached out to me from ITV News. That is a TV network in the UK, the largest commercial broadcaster in the UK. And they had a request. They said, hey, we're looking to speak with someone in Kansas from the MAGA movement who believes the Super Bowl is rigged and is part of Taylor Swift's plan to endorse Biden. So they asked me for a mobile number to reach out to me on. So I, you know, listen, I'll entertain anybody. So I give them my cell phone, and then after the show yesterday, they uh, call me up. And they said, hey, yeah, we wanted to just follow up on the email and see if you know anyone with the MAGA movement who believes the Super Bowl is rigged. And they were hoping that I was going to be like, oh, yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, this, oh, man, this thing is totally rigged. You know, Taylor's just just totally a Pentagon psyop, and, uh, you know, her and Travis are going to go out there and, Try to throw the election on Joe's behalf. And boy, when do you guys want to do an interview? And I said, well, honestly, I mean, you know, we've been talking about this a lot the last few weeks. And overwhelmingly, I don't believe it. And the audience doesn't believe it. And she's like, oh, okay. Well, um, is there anyone you can think of in like the Kansas City area who's in a MAGA movement who might believe it? And I'm like, oh, I see what you're doing here. You're just trying to fit a narrative. I just told you that with by far, when it comes to actually talking news of the day in this town, the best morning show in Kansas City, overwhelmingly, the audience doesn't buy this crap. So, but you're trying to fit the narrative. You're trying to find someone who's going to tell you what it is you want to hear. Despite the fact that I just told you, ITV News out of the UK, that it's not an overwhelmingly popular opinion in any circles and not Republican, Trump, MAGA circles. I mean, you know, there's a couple of loud people on the Internet who are trying to, you know, push this thing along. But we're not getting call after call after call or text after text after text on the NFL being rigged. And by the way, why would Chiefs fans want to feel that way? <laughs> We've been to a bunch of Super Bowls the last few years. I know they're in the UK. They don't really understand football. But when you have the best quarterback on the planet, it goes a long way to being a really good team. So I'm like, I don't know anybody. I'm not going to help you. If you need anything, you know how to get a hold of me. That's kind of how the conversation ended. So then they reach back out and they say, okay, well, how about this? Um, Would you be willing to have us come to Kansas City, come into your studios and record part of your show this week? I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, that's fine. And, you know, would you talk about Taylor Swift potentially endorsing Joe Biden and what that might mean? And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's, we, we've talked about that on the show. We're happy to have those conversations. We'll have them again probably at some point this week here on KCML. And she said, okay, so they're going to have a couple of producers from this UK TV network fly here to record one segment of this show on Friday. And they want to record what I'm saying, and they want to record what you're saying as callers and air it on the UK's largest commercial broadcaster this weekend. So they're coming in the studio. On fr- I'm like, listen, if you guys want to come here, I'm not going to tell you not to. All right. If you want to come here in Kansas City, we'll show you around town. We'll have a good old time. Now, if you think you're going to get, you know, conspiracy theories on fire left and right about the NFL's rigged and. Taylor Swift's a psyop, like, that ain't going to happen, but you're welcome to come to the show. We'll show you around. You know, they had their little cute British accents and everything like that. And, uh, you know, 
show you the soccer stadium, too, if you want to see that. You know, John and Mark will talk some soccer with you. I won't. But, you know, they're, they're nice guys. They'll talk a little soccer with you here. And we'll be off to the races. So they are coming to the studio on Friday morning. They're going to record a segment from 7.30 to 7.45-ish. And they want to hear from you as well. They want to hear from callers. So we'll do that on Friday as this U.K. broadcasting company comes here and we talk about Taylor Swift and how our vision of her would change potentially or our view of her would change in Kansas City if she ultimately endorsed Joe. So start thinking, if you want to be on, if you've had a dream of being on U.K. TV, Friday's your chance here on KCMO Talk Radio. It's going to be fun. I want to know who's funding their flights and everything. That's expensive for a 15-minute segment. (laughs) Dude, I was like, when they called back, and they're like, "Uh, what would you think about us coming out there? And I was like, I mean, not my money. I don't care what you do. We got nice studios here in Corporate Woods, and you're going to have a grand old time. The whole, like, Missouri-Kansas thing kind of confused them a little bit. Yeah, that does. (laughs) But uh, I gave them the address, and they said, we'll see you Friday morning. So... We'll see if they show up, I guess. And q thirty nine's right up the street, so that's nice. Uh, if you're offering to go to lunch with them, Mark, you know, you can <laughs> take them. I'm not going. But uh, they say they're going to be here. They're flying out, and they're coming to record a segment of this radio show, and they want to hear from this audience as well. So that's your chance to shine. If you've been waiting for that big break, maybe you want to be a UK TV star, Friday's your day. All right, you want to be the next Simon Cowell? It all starts on Friday morning at 730, John. <laughs> I'm still going to be wearing all red, so. We'll uh, no, I trust me. It's going to be a red Friday. I don't know if they know what's what, but they'll be here. So we'll see uh, how that goes. 913-408-7957. Pete, you'll have to bring in your buddy Nick Haynes to be an interpreter. I don't need an interpreter. And they're not going to be on the air. They're going to be sitting here in the corner of the studio with their cameras and their you know videos. And they're going to be hearing from myself and from you. So start thinking about that as we get ready for Friday here on KCMO Talk Radio. Good morning. It is so good to be here. Uh, You see Donnie Boy is back in the good graces of Bud Light. I don't know what that's all about. But Trump yesterday put up this Truth Social post uh, about how the Bud Light ad was a mistake of epic proportions, he says. And for for that, a very big price was paid. He goes on the note on his Truth Social, Anheuser-Busch is not a woke company, but I can give you plenty that are. And I'm building a list and might just release it for the world to see. Don't tempt me. Why not? The radical left does it viciously to well-run conservative companies and people. Very nasty. But it's the way they play the game. On the other hand, Anheuser-Busch spends $700 million a year with our great farmers, employs 65,000 Americans, 1,500 veterans, and is a founding corporate partner of Folds of Honor. They've raised over $30 million, given 44,000 scholarships. Anheuser-Busch is a great American brand, writes Donald Trump, that perhaps deserves a second chance. What do you think? Perhaps instead we should be going after those companies that are looking to destroy America. That was uh, Donnie Boy yesterday on his Truth Social account. Well, he forgot to mention it still tastes like, tastes like urine. So he, he failed to mention that part of Bud Light. He failed to mention of all the light beer options, it's still the worst, and it always has been. Um, And it seems odd to me that a Belgian-owned conglomerate is now being called, you know, this great American company. It was at one point. It's not right now. And the catch here is this. Just so we're all on the same page and you do with this information what you want, but do understand that Trump's message on behalf of Bud Light comes as a top Republican lobbyist for the company is set to host a fundraiser for the former president next month with tickets going for as much as $10,000. This guy's name is Jeff Miller. He's a confidant of former Speaker Kevin McCarthy, and he built his Washington lobbyist business during the Donald Trump years. And he's the one who's hosting this fundraiser. The event is also set to feature dozens of members of Congress and Republican leadership, as well as Donald Trump Jr. Is anyone pure anymore? Once again, you do with this information what you want. I ain't listening to them. It was the most effective boycott we've seen in modern American history. And to give it up because, well, Trump tells us to? Sorry. 
But I know some people are going to be, you know, I'm sure Steve Banner will have a Bud Light on his show today. Trump sends dog whistles to MAGA crowd of beer. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good headline writer, John, for the there left. There we go. <laughs> well done. 913-408-7957 as we roll through the morning on KCMO Talk Radio.